anybody here? You are live. Oh, I don't have YouTube up. <laughs> All right, get with it. <laughs> okay, Melanie. Anytime. I don't think we've got anybody. Probably not. Nope. It's early. Oh, I've got to go here. Ah, they had enough of you yesterday, Jill. I know it. That could be happening. Hello, anybody. This will be heartbreaking. <laughs> Why? I know it won't. See, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. I just want, I don't even know how many cells there are, Mel. I haven't, I haven't had time to look, to be honest. I haven't either. I've been upstairs working or. Well, at least you got your air conditioner guy there. There, that's, that's. Uh, we won't get air conditioning until Tuesday. Oh, no. And that's if the part comes in. If the part comes in. Oh. So Steve's over at the other house getting the window air conditioner out of the garage. Yeah, because three or four days, if it gets hot like they say it's supposed to, you're going to roast. Yes. And I don't want, I'm already roasting. <laughs> I was trying to say, you're getting close, aren't you? I'm I'm gonna be a bag of jello. <laughs> I mean we do have air down like on the back porch and <laughs> but that's not very helpful. <laughs> You're trying to work in the house. No, like <laughs> cooking and all of that. Oh see, I can't gosh. stand if I'm too hot to cook, you're probably not gonna get cooked for. Yeah, it's sad. I do a lot of stuff in the oven, and I try not to in the summer, but sometimes I just can't help myself. Well, this is that Edith Holden book about her life. It is still Hey, so Shauna. Shauna. You want to come craft? Come play with us. You want to play? Uh, going to glue and glitter. I'm not painting with that messy stuff, though. She likes that messy stuff. I haven't done it since. <laughs> oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible. Oh, I, I know what I forgot. What? I was going to bring those handmade papers down to see if oh they yeah. took ink wish you were here to pack my orders <laughs> i'm gonna work on that later this oh afternoon. shauna you know they can wait another day oh my god for sure that's what i just almost spilled what <laughs> the oh. glue the glue oh no oh yes that would have been ugly all over my fingers <laughs> See, i don't have to work with messy stuff to make them you mess. make it messy no <laughs> oh they're making me pick which picture i like the best i hate when they do that oh and yeah, just pick one well i'm looking at them quick and Ripping and tearing faster. Before use, uh, you can Thank always you use learn. another one on something else. I know it. Easy peasy. All right, there we go. That was not as bad as I was afraid of. Are you packing orders from the empowered women or your other sales? This may not be the night for me to use this stuff. <laughs> She's Seriously. getting down and dirty. Seriously. Oh, I need my cutter. I can't cut a straight line with my new glasses. That's kind of sad. Well, uh, if it makes you feel better, <laughs> I can't do it with my glasses. So. Yeah, it's a challenge some days, no doubt. I want these for little 
cards, though. Ooh, that was close. Through may have been done shipping from June. Oh. Ugh. I'm sorry for you because I know what a hassle. You know, I'm not. It's the shipping part that I can do with that. I hate when they give me a stupid price on shipping. And it, I just cringe. But, you, you know, pirate ship's still the cheapest way to go. If you give the discount. I do. Well, I, I do too. I, but. I always have. I mean, I never even. <laughs> this is how goofy I am. I never even thought of not doing it. Oh, well. We'll keep that whole page. I should be over here cutting up this napkin page. I'm not doing much good with this. <clears throat> oh, do I have any bad words? No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I looked at that a minute ago on that one page. Paula said, check for bird, bad words. I'm going, ugh. Well, I'm usually using older books. Yeah, and that doesn't. It's not as big an issue. But. Or a foreign language. Now, if you get one in a foreign language. And you can read it? I'm sorry. I'm impressed is what I am. I'm <laughs> impressed. That was a big whoopsie because I didn't know it. Can't read that language. Really? I can write foreign languages, but I'll be darned if I can do anything else with them. I don't know. Well, if you can write them, you should be able to read them. To myself, but I can't. I can, like I said, I can write them and read them, but I can't speak. I can't put them together in speaking. I just have to read you what I wrote. <laughs> and it, that could be iffy at best sometimes, too, so... I, I loved, loved Spanish, but. I remember my French teacher, George de Fleur. Georgie Forgy. And then the third year of French, I had his wife. Yeah. Was that I don't remember her name. I know it was de Fleur, but. She did not make an impression on you. Well, no, she was. George was something else. Let's put it that way. Uh oh. George was George. I think he made an impression on all his students. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go there. Not going to go there. <laughs> yeah, George was... Quite a character? Very French. Oh. Uh-huh. We went that side. That was easy. Squirrel. Oh, yeah. We went that side. This is driving he, me. I will say he knew how to make it fun. Well, that's good because a foreign language can be, to me, nerve-wracking. But I was always one of those who worried about what she's going to worry about. So We did it. Back when, this shows my age, you know, those little black and white film clips. Yes, I have those too. You know, it was like a, he'd flip it. Yep, click, click, pull it. It was in a click. I can still <laughs> see the little man <laughs> that was the whatever he was i like the one that did the pointing well i remember venez voir my chambre <laughs> oh my god it what it wasn't dirty but a bunch of high school kids made it dirty well of course you did because the little guy got this look on his face and he scrunched, he had a big nose. He scrunches up his face and goes, No, no, je n'ai pas le temps. So you weren't supposed and to. And I really French. butchered it there, so all you French speakers. So sorry. <laughs> but I do remember that. 
And what, what remember, did that mean? I would come and see my room. <clears throat> okay. And he was saying, no, no, I do not have the time. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. And I remember Dans la Rue. <laughs> You remember I mean, more. I cannot roll my R's. I never could. And oh God, I'm so jealous if you can. And he would sit there and make you go, la rue. <laughs> I, I, the only thing I got out of a little bit of French was la plume. <laughs> and that's not correct either. But I mean, I, mean, I could not go to France. No, it would be a disaster for all involved. In any way, shape, or form. I would just have to be silent and smile a lot. Well, that would be out of character. Well, the smiling wouldn't. I'd be okay with that part. <laughs> I could manage that. But the being quiet. Mm. The French aren't usually quiet. I don't think you could be quiet. No, I couldn't be quiet. And I talk with my hands, so God only knows what my gestures would mean to them over there. Do you know that's why I learned sign language? Because you didn't want to have to do all the languages? Nope. Because I talked with my hands. Yes, I've been told if someone tied me up, I couldn't speak. That's not true, but, you know, it does uh, make it no, harder for that's me. That's not true. I can attest to that. It just makes it hard for me. But I can do it. Dave says I flounder around a little bit more if I can't use my hands. <laughs> oh, crud. I just put that on upside down. Can you get it off? It's a napkin? No, it's not a napkin. Rip that baby off there. Oh, these are, I don't know which one of these. That's not fair. Jeez, Melanie. Well, I looked at mine and one of the booklets I made, I put the, put on upside down. So it's mine. I kept it. <laughs> Good golly. Mr. Well, Joe. it's got a $40 in pencil and I didn't catch that. Cool. Expensive little booger. They were rich back then. That's a lot of money. Oh, not the hiccups. Well, now it looks like me, you, and Shauna. You can pack and type occasionally, Shauna. So make us think like we're important. <laughs> you need to feed, feed her ego, Shauna. Um, my feelings will be hurt. I'll think they don't. Mel says I, they got enough of me yesterday at the sale, which could possibly be very true. <laughs> Can't say it either way. <coughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know. I was at an estate sale for most of the. Well, not. No, actually, I was traveling for most yeah. of the. You did travel quite a piece to go. It sounds like you did pretty good. Um, most of the stuff I got was for here. The house. Yeah, I picked up the napkins, but. What about the buttons? Are you going to oh, share? Yeah, I got the buttons, but. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why? You don't know. I, got I see buttons, I automatically pick them up unless they've got a stupid price on them and they, there's been a lot of that going on. These people have found out what we like and they're up in our prices. <laughs> Used to, they just said, ah, we don't care. What do you give me for them? <laughs> kind I, mean, of I, bad. Did, I used to be able to pick ledgers up for. Uh, you'd probably make me ill, won't you? Good luck anymore. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Even the newer ledgers, they found out how bad we like ledgers. They just know ledgers. Yep. The little and I mean, uh, I 
Well, it's I'm, all supply and demand. Pretty much. And these people watch for it. Yes, they do. I don't think I want another picture of her. I've got plenty of pictures of her. Well, I saw, did I tell you I sold all my ledger paper except the little bit I wanted to keep for myself and, and that? Yes. I did. Yeah, well. That was a little bit. <clears throat> I, I know. I tried before and couldn't do any good. So, Betty, I really overdid it this time. Just a little. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was the deal of the day. That was a deal of the year. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, I like this one. She even put the corners on it for me. Well. Nobody's doing anything on a Friday anymore, Mel. Kids are out of school and they're wrangling them. Probably vacationing if they're lucky. Or they I can be it. like Shauna sitting at home. <laughs> Packing orders. I'm just I'm sorry. We, I should be having another sale, but I'm just too pooped. <laughs> And then there's that packing thing that Sean is doing I have to do. So, well, 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 that won't make a very pretty envelope at all. So what are we going to do with that? We don't care. <laughs> I don't know. That is turning out really nicely. I don't know if, where is it? Oh, oh man, my lag. We're selling again on Monday. I was thinking about doing books and napkins on Monday. I don't know what I'm doing. But I've got a doctor's appointment, so I can't. So then I decided I'd do it tomorrow. Well, I don't know. It's going to be a surprise pop-up, Shauna. <laughs> surprise. What do you got to sell? Like I need something else. Quit packing and come tell me what you got for sale. I love it when Paula says, do not let me sell or buy. And I'm like, how many times do I try to intercede? <laughs> you know what she does with me? You'll love it. She calls me and keeps me busy where I can't watch the screen. <laughs> That's what she did at Katie's the other day. She said, I thought I'd divert your attention. I'm going, okay. It didn't work well for her, but God love it. She tried. Oh, she's going to be Katie's favorite, isn't she? I'm telling you. Well, I did need the thread I bought. And I only bought two pieces of material. And I got rid of three boxes of it. So I still had a whole bunch more material I could replay. <laughs> I have no intentions. And I think I bought some tiles from her. So I didn't do too bad. But to be honest, she didn't sell any books while I was there. So that probably saved my hiney. Oh, I've got some beautiful antique books. I wish you'd pull them out and put them in my box and bill me. <laughs> if I get depressed, that's all you got to do. Send me an old book. Happy mail for Jill. <laughs> uh, you ain't going to be no happy mail, girly. <laughs> Those are even better if you're not willing to give them up. You want me to pay for it? I know. No, good. I'm not willing to give these. I would love to if I could... Yeah, I know the feeling. No, I'm not averse to paying for a book, and you know that. I know. I love them. I, love them. 
I am going to have to find me a ledger. I haven't had a ledger fix in so long, and I need another mustard ledger. My shelf's almost bare. I don't have mustard. I have the um, those hide that are kind of a brownish gold, whatever they are. Those are pretty, too. I accept those also. But it, they're not mustard. Mustard's always better for me, but not absolutely a necessity. Okay, what are we doing here? Ah, so not fair. Getting to paper and ephemera. Selling paper and ephemera. Aha, uh -huh. two of my weaknesses. Two among many. Yeah, I was thinking about doing some tags, but since I ran, I got made a cappuccino first. <laughs> You made a cappuccino first, and that just did away with our tags, huh? Well, when I got down here, it was almost time to start. So, I, don't know why that, I don't know why that link wouldn't. But well, I no, didn't. That's no big deal. I was just, uh-oh, it's close to time, and I'm going, I can't get in. Paula said, I'm here, but. It won't let me in. I said, I'll fix you. Just a moment. <laughs> Not a problem. So I got her situated a little better. I'm sure everybody recognizes this Timu tape. I don't have any yet. They sent me a thing saying, you're, we're sorry to say, Jill, that your items are almost depleted. If you want them, you need to order quickly. And I'm like, all righty. Oh, they send you that crap, don't they? Yeah, and I thought when I'm ready to order, I will send my order in. And if I miss it, guess I didn't need it, huh? Well, I only buy stuff for to, to use. I don't. And that's what I was. Resell the. Yeah. Pieces. No, I was just using it to. Well, I told you they had those scissors. Yep. Which I had ordered scissors and I ordered some from them and the other ones came first, so. <coughs> I think I've still got the Timu scissors here. Well, if that piece of crap paper isn't the lopsided thing I've ever seen. The way they used to talk. Because you need to dye paper. Gosh, I just can't dye paper, and I really want to, but it sucks. I may have to go up or have Steve, maybe he can find it. Have him get that paper to show us. Um, I wanted to, actually, I'm going to wait a week. I need to do some paper dyeing. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Well, I usually do mine outside. Yeah. But we've had a lot of, oh, oh, there goes my phone. We've had a lot of wind. I haven't been able to do much outside with my paper because and, of the wind. Um, I'll tell you what, it's so dang hot. And I go out there and I will... Sweat my little patootie off. <laughs> Trust me. It's not a pretty sight when I start that sweating stuff. Well, oh, I guess I'm down means... here, my gosh. We've not had humidity for about a week and a half now. So I'm pretty impressed mm. with the fact that we aren't having that much humidity. Oh my gosh, we have humidity and... February. And rain. Oh my God, the rain. We just got enough rain the other day. It didn't even settle our dust. All I could think of was, wow, 
because they go by on the gravel road and you have to wait to pull out because you can't see if anybody's coming and you can't get within four car lengths of people. Yeah, because of the dust. Yeah, because you can't see. Do you know if you have, um, well, this age is my car too, CD player. I know everybody. I asked for a, D, uh, yeah, I asked for the equivalent of a CD player. You know, the young man looked at me, he said, you want what? And I looked at him, I said, you're not that young, are you? And he just grinned. He said, I kind of think I know what you mean. And I said, I want to play my CDs in it. So I guess it is still a CD player. And he said, oh, man, we haven't done those for a long time. And I thought, oh, my God. No, they all pay for Siri. And I said, well, I'm not paying for Siri because I don't drive that much. I'm retired and we don't go that much right now. And I'm not going to get an iPod, whatever the heck that does, because I'm not downloading that. I believe I said the word crap to him and he grinned at me. Uh, I said, oh I have the music available and I'd like to use what's available to me. Well, that would be a special order, or I would recommend you go to a car detailing out place that has stereos and things. I'm going, jeez, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> just, the thing is, with that kind of dust and gravel roads, exactly, they mess up your CD players. I know, <laughs> and I, we don't have a garage to garage our cars in. This old place didn't have one, and we didn't. It had one, but the roof fell in, and I had, as Dave so quaintly put it, a beautiful sunroof in your old garage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I probably collage like no other. <laughs> We're all unique on that, aren't we? Well, you're supposed to, what, start in the middle and go out? I tried that. It didn't work for me, so I don't do that either. I just do whatever. Yes, which was not starting in the middle. Did she pick up some more cucumbers, Steve? Oh. He might not have that answer for you. I think he said no. Yeah. All righty, that's going to work out. Well, I would like some more for that. Thing I made. The what do they salad? call that? Oh, your salad thing? Yeah, what do they call that? Oh, I think they've got a name for it. We just always called it onion and cucumber salad. But I put tomatoes in mine. I do too. But I put tomatoes in anything that will hold still long enough for me to put a tomato in. I love my maters. I had used all my onions. They're not remember. quite good yet down here. The cucumbers or the tomatoes? No, the tomatoes. They're bringing them in, I think, from Florida and Georgia. Yeah. Well, I've been eating watermelon like it's going. I've been eating a watermelon a week. Is it good? Have, has, have you tried Athena cantaloupes? Not yet. We don't have oh, cantaloupes. Oh, Carlin, short time period. Catch them or lose them. Yep. And don't let them sit on your counter. Put them in the fridge. No, cut them up. <laughs> and then put them in the fridge. And eat them. I, that's not a problem for me. When I get one, I can't hardly wait. I want to stop alongside the road and bust it open. And I'm craving fruits. I don't know what's up with that. Athena cantaloupes are fantastic. I'll have to. I need to look when I come to Evansville Monday for that appointment and see if they've got any there. Because our little, our little groceries around here, even our little Walmarts, don't usually have anything good like that. Or I might try, what's that one? Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Grocery store. Boy, my words, this week has not been my word week. We still have Piggly Wigglies down here. Boy, don't I wish. We always went to the Piggly Wiggly at my grandmother's in Arkansas. We, we always had little mom and pop ones. In El Dorado, the guy knew Ann Ida let us charge a popsicle. 
So we'd walk the block and a half to my aunt's little grocery store down there. And, <clears throat> and uh, we'd get us up. I loved them. All right, what are we doing with you? Nothing great. <sighs> Nothing great. Lots of fruits. Oh. Are you going to use your fruits and vegetables in your paper dyeing? Are you going to eat them? <laughs> I've got it before. Donna, lots of fruit and vegetables she put in there. And I'm going, are you going to eat them or are you going to use them to dye paper with? Well, she can take the peels. Do what? She can take the peels after she eats them. That That's just perfect, too. No waste. You're going to eat them. <laughs> I've had a tapeworm this week. I can't figure out what I want. I know what I want. I want a banana split. And I might as well go get the darn thing and get the craving over with so I can get back to my low-fat diet that I need to be a little better with this week. But I have. I've, I've been craving a banana split for two weeks now. Dave says he's not taking me. If I can drive myself, but... Just to drive to town for 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back to get a banana split seems wasteful to me. Plus, I've not had the time to, I've had kids or somebody here to play with. I've got a little painter in the making. She is, oh my God, she is into painting. She's not patient enough to dip her paintbrush in the watercolor paint. So I've gotten her some washable acrylic. <laughs> She's a mess. I don't know if I want to do her. Well, I'm making some envelopes. What do I want to do? I don't have anything over here, Jill. Well, go get it. We'll talk while you're gone. Sean will keep me in line. You know it's going to take me to go find... As I find things like that, I keep an empty box under my desk. That seems to be working for me so far. Yeah, well. Hey, I've got to have a method to the madness somewhere along the line. It just doesn't look even, but according to that, it is. Crazy, crazy. Well, it'll be even now. <laughs> Crunch. Crunchy, crunchy. I swore I wouldn't throw paper in my floor again, and I'm throwing paper in my floor again. All right, what are you? I finally found a pencil that had lead. Not much lead, but it's got a little bit. I'm like, good Lord. Got two dozen pencils down there. None of them are sharpened. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to, if it depends on what I've got next week, but I want to make some paper before my knee surgery. And I've got to get me a stash of crap downstairs, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I can have something to do. I because he everybody says don't climb the stairs. And you know what? They made my his cousin climb stairs before she went home from the hospital. She had to go up so many stairs, and I'm thinking, well then why am I worried about Because I asked the guy, I said, if I can scoot up and down on my butt, he said, you go for it if you feel that good. He said, just don't push yourself. And I'm like, oh, don't worry, I'm a weenie. I won't. So, we shall see. Uh, may, the cardiologist may not clear me. I may have to cancel it and get another date. 
which will make me extremely unhappy. Are there any sales today, Shauna? I haven't looked. Do you know? She may be packing something. I may have bored her. I can bored her. I've been known to. She may have thought worry about, about it, though. She may have thought about all that fruit and vegetables and gone to get something. Yeah, you made her hungry. I made her hungry. Bless her heart. She got hungry. I didn't mean it. That's too. I didn't mean it. I am really just doing a crapo. I'm not, you know, they say don't think. <laughs> this may end up looking like a, she didn't think at all. She truly didn't think. <laughs> she truly just threw it down there. If I think about it, it's not a good thing. So it's best if I don't. Yep, it's just best if I don't. I don't no, know. If I had more stuff around me, I would. More choices. That's not always good for me, but yeah, I understand what you mean. And the sad thing is, I don't really want to use some of my. Um, my already. You glue yourself to the page. My fussy cut stuff. Eh, not on my collage, no. Well, I use that, but yeah, that's. I usually don't use my fussy cuts. I might rip some stuff and. Well, that's a fussy cut. That that's a fussy cut, but I really hate to use those on. After I cut it into cards or whatever, I might use a fussy cut on it. Yeah. But I'm yeah, like, I, I don't want to waste it. I know. That's what I need to take down with me. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on some journal pages. I got the new uh, Medieval Mirage. I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. Florals. And I can't wait to get it printed off. I intended to do that this morning and I didn't get it done. I'm not really sure what I did do this morning. I got the house picked up, but I didn't run the dust mop. I folded a load of clothes, but I didn't unload the dishwasher. I didn't cook breakfast. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I was playing around with, but I didn't get done everything I normally get done in the morning. That makes me feel like if I come upstairs for the rest of the day, I'm still okay. But I can fussy cut if I'm down somewhat. They don't want you to be down. They informed me they don't want me sitting still. No, no they want good. you moving. That's good because I don't sit still very well. You think... Yeah, well, you know me, I gotta have something in my hand piddling with it or I'm not happy. Uh oh, she said to know. Why does she to know to know to what? What did you ask her? Oh, I asked her if we had any sales going today. Oh. And we had four Wednesday, a couple three yesterday. What is today? Today is Friday. Yes, Jill. Friday. Ah. It's kind of sad. All day. All darn day. All darn day. Well, I haven't had an appointment for a day or two, so I've lost track. I did, I did. I, the other week I had something every day somewhere I had to be in. I hate that. So this week I've got something every day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and Thursday. And I won't like that either, but 
kind of just like getting up and not having anything to do or any place to go. I don't mind a day or two a week, but every freaking day wears my butt out. Yeah, I don't like every day. Mm -mm. I'm just not that social anymore. <laughs> Have to be nice to people that often might be hard for me. COVID really turned me into a hermit. Oh, I know. I mean, just. I go run my errands. I get, I make my list very thoroughly and I get what I've got to get and I get the heck back out. I don't have a problem. All righty. That's well, I know when I worked retail, <laughs> I was like, I hate people. Yep. Didn't realize. I mean, I've always liked people, but I didn't realize how being nice that much. <clears throat> people can out. be jerks. Well, yes. Oh, good grief. I had a, my prayer the other day was, dear Lord, why did you make so many stupid people? I'd had to do phone stuff all day. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, there were days I used to think, why did you get up this morning just to harass me? You made it. You set the alarm and said, Mel will be there at 10. I'll be there. Yeah, at let's go in and <laughs> just be mean. Mm -hmm. And, and I've always said there's no such thing as a stupid question if you truly don't know the answer. But some of these people really work me with that. Well, it wasn't stupid questions. It was just, I mean, you go in a store, it's got a price on it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it doesn't say flea market outside. And it doesn't say we dicker for price yeah. change. I'm sorry. I just work here. Or, you know, it was at this, um, oh, what are these? Um, I'm sorry. I'm eating. <laughs> My favorite state sale. Oh, it's yeah. The first time I have seen in a very long time the sign you break it, you buy it. Now, I've seen those at the estate sales, but it's been a long time. I haven't seen one. Uh, I was surprised. I guess they're telling you, please don't handle shit if you can't pay for it. <laughs> but some oh, of the prices, you don't, you can't see them if you don't pick it up. Well, people would come in the store, and I mean, I had a lady break an $80 lamp oh. and just left it laying on the floor. Oh, my. And it's like, I think people... The least you could have done was said, I am so sorry. And pray that you didn't ask her to pay for it. Well, you can't make her. What are you no. going to do? Banner from a store? <laughs> or an $8 lamp? That word of mouth will kill your business. Well, I did chase a person out stealing $300 sheets. That would have been worth a chase. No, no, no. I could have been fired for that. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, gosh, yes. You had a pop. If they walked out the store with them, you weren't allowed to. Nope. Wow. No, if you didn't have security, it's a good thing because that's what they're supposed to do. No security. My security was, uh, hello, don't do that. Oh, you wouldn't. I, I, Let me smack and you. You know door. what? It wasn't always the people you would suspect of stealing. 
No, it was those rich people that didn't want, they were too tight to pay for it. I mean, just. Or a kid that got dared. Um. I mean, I don't know what causes people to steal. Um, the thought of my mother switching me kept me from doing it. And oh, disappointed. Lordy. And disappointing my father killed me even more than mom spanking me. Hey. There was no disappointing dad. I wouldn't have it. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You did not want to go home and face Dad. My dad never spanked me, but all he had to do was say, I'm so disappointed in you, sis. Oh, my God. The tears would flow and mom would roll her eyes like, I could beat her half to death and not get that response. <laughs> I didn't kill me for dad to say that. He never spanked me. But sometimes I wished he hadn't just hadn't talked to me about <laughs> how disappointed he was. Oh, man. Yep, it wasn't a pretty thing. I have more than one bone folder, for heaven's sakes. You would think I was limited. Okay, Jill, I got to come up with something. Cutesy? No, 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 I'm not a cutesy. You're not a cutesy person, are you? No, I'm not a cutesy. All right, that'll work for me. I'm not a cutesy person. I've never I mean, been a cutesy. things I think are cute. I mean. I'm yeah. not a frou-frou yeah. girl. I'm not a, I never have been a frou-frou girl. I, I have more frou-frou in my life now than I ever have. <laughs> I think some, I mean, there's just gorgeous. Oh, it's, yeah. It's not what I do. I don't do it well. If you made me do it, it would Liz suck told me I'm very vintage. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh, is that what I am? <laughs> I'm something, that's for sure. Is that what I am? I don't know oh, what hey. I am. I knew I was something, Lizzie Poo. I know, but I don't have nothing. <sighs> You're going to have to make a trip. Because, yeah. you know, Steve will not find it. Dave wouldn't. He might get lucky since I've organized and marked things with tags. <laughs> but. I love that paper out of those books. Der Flufenlerfen. The Flufenlerfen. I've got to get one of my foreign languages out to use some of the book pages. Dang it, Jill, can't you cut straight? Evidently not. This may be Jill's personal envelope if she keeps botching it up. It always reminds me of Rose on Golden Girls. The Furfin Blocking. God, that was the best show. That show was ahead of its time. It was absolutely wonderful. Let's not put that one there. Let's put I it get here. so tickled. I loved, I always called her Maud. Well, I loved yeah. Maud's dry sense of humor. That just, I loved it. Yeah, that's what Debbie said I was. I was Maud. Yes. I can see this. <laughs> what I thought was funny is she said Paula was Blanche. Yes. Yeah, and that makes Paula mad. I know it does, but it's true. <laughs> Sorry. I don't see that as Paula. I could. <laughs> no, I don't see that as Paula. I In the picky sense you know that she wants things to look right her clothes and that that's how i see her. oh well that yeah. part of not the other part no <laughs> she likes to dress and she likes her nice clothes and 
that's the part that reminded me of of her. <laughs> No, I can't get on that subject because I'll offend somebody. Yeah, I know. Guys, you can't talk anymore. I know. Not without being censored. <laughs> I, and I don't mean it badly, but... No. It, no, it doesn't mean I don't love you to death. It just means I see a resemblance. It's not good or bad. It's just how I see it. Well, no, there's just... There was one of the shows on... Golden Girls the other night, and it was regarding transgender. Mm -hmm. And the response <laughs> funny. You know, the old um, Larry the Cable guy, I don't care who you are, that's funny. That's funny, yep. I mean, I don't know. I can't even have a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> Some people are just. I make fun of myself all the time. I tell on myself all the time. I mean, if you can't laugh, you're going to have to cry, and I don't want to do that. Sorry. Well, I do really dumb things occasionally. I've been known to do a couple of three, yeah. I mean, yeah. really? Yeah, I know it's shocking because I seem so perfect and together. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can guarantee you I'm not. I'm far from perfect and I do not have it together. <laughs> Most days. You have no fear when it comes to me of being <laughs> or even thinking I think I'm perfect. No way, Jose. Oh, I like this envelope. Isn't that pretty? Yep. Very He's holding. Pretty. Little lace. Now we need some bling. <laughs> Where did we put the pearls? That's what it needs. Oh, no. Even better than pearls. Uh, oh, we lost Shauna. She got busy. Oh, come back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me sing to Mel. She'll censor me. Oh, Sean, I'll come find you. She sings to me. <laughs> you are in trouble now. I's in trouble now. Oh, Lordy. I may take this to the sewing machine. I made me a tray of little laces and such to work with. And I thought, I don't have to have them all. Just throw some on there. <laughs> Something on there. And I don't remember what I put in there put stuff in this tin I got the other day. I love this tin. Oh, I put more, more laces. <laughs> I love this one. I think oh, that, that is, is pretty. So nice. And this is all I've got of it, so I'm hoarding it, thinking I'll I'll find something to use it on that's special. Then I won't want to sell it. Because <laughs> I'm kind of weird like that. I'll put it in my hoard box and keep it for a little while and eventually I'll I'll say, gee, I've had that long enough now. I can part with it. All right, we're going to put this little bitty pink thing on here and how do you think that's going to work? Uh, all right, where's my little bottle? Of, I got little bottles for myself and didn't Where did I Oh my gosh, Jill. You kept little bottles and yet you don't know where you put them. You are so not right. I had one box of it, one package of them left. Wonder if I get lucky and find that. Why would I think that would work? All right, we're going to wing it. I'm not even going to try and walk around all the stuff. I stacked stuff beside my desk because I wasn't sure I was into decoupaging or collaging today. So I stuck some stuff beside here thinking I might do some tags or ephemera. Note to Jill, find the silly bottles that you saved for yourself. 
this trim I just got and I love it. All right, that's it. Did I tell you they got my little grandson eight rabbits? Not one, eight. Which Jeremy has all the hutches and everything because he used to raise. And still, and I'd say that's what he's thinking about getting into again. So the baby will have bunnies to play with. <laughs> I said, oh, what color bunny did she get? And she said, we got eight. I'm going, you little overachievers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Well, they all liked a different one. Her 10-year-old her daughter liked one. The baby had, he didn't care. He had about three he liked. Jeremy liked one. She liked one. So they just got them all. I said, gee, I hope you either bought them all or left two or three together. Didn't leave one by itself. If you did, shame on you. You go back and get it. I don't know. They're a mess. I wish you could have seen Dave's face that day that he brought those chickens by Mother's Day. And he had four in a box and they were cheap. And I said, oh, you bought me a canary. Oh, no, that's you bought me chickens. And he said, Mom, they're not yours. Just go with me. <laughs> Dang it. She's listening to us. That's good because Mel doesn't want me to sing. She's such a party pooper. Hey. What do you think, Shauna? We still need a piece of bling on this envelope. Just lace. I might put a stamp here. What kind of stamps do we have? Gee, that's not hard to figure out. Got a million of them, and I know where they're at. Shocker, they're in the puzzle box. I think I got a few stamps. I need my water brush. I got one right here. Let me pass it to you. <laughs> chicken. I don't think this needs a chicken. I'm not sure it needs purple. No, no, no. Oh, someone needs to organize my stamps for me. Dear Lord, these are a mess. That's too. Oh, I could put a bug on it and freak Paula out. That you would. I love messing with her. She's she fun. She does not like bugs. No. No, 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 no. I'm really not liking this. I do. I do. Put it in my box. Put it in my box. <laughs> Start over. Yeah, I really, really don't like this. I understand the process of, I don't like that. Why would you cover up my bunny stamp, people? Really? We could do a bunny. I've got a lot of pretty stamps, but this is not them. That auction I went to that I was telling you about, that guy had stamps from all over the world. This is just part of them. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's really blue, but it's not big enough. That one's, the bug is too big. That one's not big enough. The bunny might work. I should have done this on the bottom. I think it's beautiful. You think anything with flowers is beautiful. Flowers or critters, you got me. What do we think of the bunnies? Oh, the bunnies. This is too small. It just gets lost. The bug really doesn't go with this. We got these 
purple things. They might work with the pink. I should take these downstairs and if I have to sit for a day or so just piddling, I could actually organize my stamps. <laughs> I don't think I like it. I think it's the bunny so far. All right, what else we got? Oh, my Lord, a mess. Pelicans. Ooh. Ooh, that's an old one. I like the red. You have no idea what a mess I've got going over here tearing all this stuff <laughs> off. Are you messing around, are you? Oh, I don't know. That one might be it. Buffalo. I've got buffalo. I knew I did. Probably, I don't have a lot of blue. I could help you on that one. I know you could. God, I love the blues. Almost as much as my mustard. Almost. Ooh, two buffaloes. There's another one of those. Hey, we're going to do it. <laughs> Tell Shauna we're going to do a drawing. <laughs> Pick a number between one and one, pa uh, uh, Paula. Shauna. Yep. Let's see if you can, can win. <laughs> Closest to. Yeah. <laughs> that ought to help her. We got to help her all we can. Ooh. Oh, gosh. It's Wendy that does the Cardinals, isn't it? Oh, I love Cardinals. That's what you do. There's a Cardinal stamp. You know what a Cardinal means? No. It's a loved one visiting you. Oh, nice. I did not know that. Oh, yes. Mom and I always laughed. Whoever found money in the parking lot at Walmart, we'd say, thanks, Dad. I'd say, oh, I found a quarter. And she'd say, I got a penny. And I'm going, what'd she do, Dad, that pissed you off? <laughs> <laughs> she'd just look at me like, really? <laughs> but, hey, I got the quarter. You didn't. Oh, man. <laughs> the things we know aren't true. I don't like that at all. I'll yeah. tell you what really ticks me off. Are people who steal off graves. Yes. Why would you do that? Oh, my gosh. That just. That's got to be the lowest life form around. It. it how do you justify that? I mean, because you have to justify pretty much everything to live with yourself. How do you justify that? I, I can't think of a way. Well, you know, anyone who's lost somebody. Yes. That That is just salt in the wound. That's and so disgusting. Everything on that grave that they do is meaningful. Yes. To uh, them, if nobody else. Well, it, you know, it just has meaning. And to desecrate it like that, that just. That's like understand. slapping me in the face. So disrespectful. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. Well, Ooh, now we've got bunnies. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how you can live with yourself. Stealing, period, again. But well, I don't understand. I don't know why I'm on the stealing kick. A lot of people are just not nice. I don't get it. When did we become such a mean me? Oh, no offense, Mimi. <laughs> a me, me, general. I, I don't know. They steal flowers. A lot of people. Becky. Hey, hey, Becky. We're glad you showed up. We were getting ready to do a drawing for Sean of one to two. <laughs> The closest number two. No, nah, we were just gonna do it one. <laughs> well, that's right. We were gonna make sure. Shauna, I hate to tell you this, but Becky always wins. <laughs> okay, Becky, you're here now. Do we want the butterfly 
for the bunnies. This is an envelope. Edith Alden. We're taking a <laughs> we're taking a bowl here. Put the butterfly back up. Yeah, I didn't leave it up very long. My fingers aren't working again today. Oh, my kittens are crying. I mean, I can trim it up, but I hate to get too OCD with it. Well, the orange doesn't really go. I thought it might, but we got Just the, bun the bunnies. I think Put we're going to have bun. to. Put the bunnies. I got the rose, but it kind of gets lost. It's not quite big enough. Yeah, I'm thinking bunnies. And that's all it needs. Don't need you. I don't know what you are. Ooh. What are you? Oh, a mountain goat thingy. <laughs> a mountain goat thingy. That's what it is. If this yellow was bigger, it would be really nice to pull that yellow out. But I've only got the one. It's a Brazil. The Brazil. It's just not big enough. I've got it upside down. No, I don't. Is that I got to go get me some acetate to do that book with. I procrastinated on doing it and I could really use it. Like today would be a great day to have it. <laughs> well, I was looking for. My, oh. You can't turn me loose in those. Books. It was the first time I met my grandson. Oh. <sighs> yep. Well, mine's back to trying to get back with his girlfriend. I didn't know this was in here. I was trying to find maybe some ephemera. Oh, there's an eyeball I drew. <sighs> nice job. Hey, I put <clears throat> I put that drawing book in your box. If you're still interested, I'll leave it in there. Oh, my God. You've got to see this. This was my first attempt at drawing a face. Does that not look like a wanted poster? <laughs> what are they mad about? <laughs> I am not. I, I'm, I'm not. A, I can't do faces. Uh -uh. I'm not even going to lie and tell you I'd even try. I drew that. Deter oh no! I am determined to spill this stuff. It's my turkey I drew. I like turkeys. The bunnies are too dark. Oh dang it! I didn't read that in time. Yeah, we probably should have done this. All right, I got another one. We'll do. I drew that bird. Oh no! I'm I'm jealous of that. I was hoping I had some ephemera in here. Nope. Well, that'd be too like right. Well, that would make it easy. Of course. And you wouldn't have to go trade. Oh, these are too dark. I know, but I already glued them on. So now I'm going to have to make another envelope, which I was going to anyway. So, But the orange didn't go with that light pink, Becky. That I pastel. Mean, you think I could find a stamp in here? I'm not having much luck. They're either too big or too little. I can't find anything in between today. Yugoslavia stamps. Ooh, they're not pretty at all. <laughs> Sorry. You just have to go with the color on that one and not look any closer. Oh, man. Who are you? Hungry. Their stamps are a little serious, too. I think a butterfly would have been cute on it, but I didn't like the orange. No, the orange didn't go with that one. It drew I, your eye too much. 
it was just supposed to enhance the experience, not be the experience. Oh, goody. Here's me some ship stamps. We'll get those out right. That's not a ship stamp, you dummy. She didn't want Paula to yell at her and go, that doesn't go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and she was. Hey, Paula, I can talk about you while you're not here. You're probably listening. Hey, if she's smart, because you never know what we're going to pop out with. I know. She better. She better protect and listen. She knows I wouldn't um, say anything to you guys that I wouldn't say to her face. So I would. <laughs> <laughs> pure evil. Oh, look what I found. Pure evil. A book uh -oh. of wildlife. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Carla. There's a hoot owl. It's oh, that's still, nice. 1972 Christmas stamp book. None of them have been used. I didn't oh, even know I had thing. that. What's this? Do you ever put a thing on and then go, ooh, I think I'm going to cover that up? I did cover something up on <coughs> the other day. It was but ugly. Um, well, that's true. Just so it, yeah. I made just so this whole thing, Becky. Uh, I told her not to, but she's not I don't like it. it. Ooh, these are already in a bag. They're not stuck down. Oh, no. They're not stuck down. Wow, these are all keepers. Like you're supposed to collect them, and I don't. Uh, those are good for all kinds of stuff. Those are really nice. Yes. Contain 21 sets. The total value is $3.95, but you may buy the entire selection for the special price of $3.60. Wonder what year this is. Trust me. Old ones. Um, Paula is Jim's moving furniture in her room for her. And she wasn't feeling all that good, so. Ooh, train. That can go in my train journal. No, she's kind of had a little bug thing. She's got the bug. You want to <laughs> come on, Becky? Throw some crap on your desk and come on. Oh, man, this would make a cute journal. Obviously, we're not prepared. <laughs> no. Oh, look, I can put stamps in. Oh, my gosh, I found a jewel. There you go. That's what I need. Put your my stamps in that. Yes, the ones I really, really like. See, I told you you don't have to use acetate. I just, I know I'm going to have to sew it or I won't trust it. Um, that's just slits made in the... Um, Paper. Yeah. And you know, I've got that Tim Holtz. As long as you're not rough with it, it'll hold... I mean, what I are you going to so. do? Well, unless I rip and tear, which well, if it doesn't come apart, I may. One. wonder what this is. It's another one. Oh, perfect. See, now you, your problem is solved. On the stamps, but not the other stuff. These aren't big enough for the other stuff. Okay, as we find stamps, we're going to do that. I don't know if I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> You're going for it. Well, smallest I stamp in the world. This is the smallest stamp in the world back in forever. Um, you might want to check some of your stamps before you use them. Uh, yeah, you might be surprised. This guy collected. This is in the book, too. That's what I mean. You might... Here's the presidents. That's a rough looking bunch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mug shot. <laughs> Maybe their photographer was like me and my drawings. What are you so angry about, sir? <laughs> oh my God, I just tore that up. Oh, Melanie. Wait, no, bad. Okay, Beck, what have you been doing? I've not seen you in forever. For very long, anyway. You've been busy. 
Well, you were at the doctor that day. She had a sale, I believe. Yes, I was. I missed it. I was not a happy camper. At least I believe that's where you were. Tom Sawyer. That's cute. Oh, she's ready to sell again. Uh-oh. I've got to, too. I've got to get my button gear. I'm, I'm thinking about doing tomorrow books and napkins real quick. Do we do anything really quick around here? <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, those are cute. Christmas stamp smell. Those are old. Those are cute. They kind of date themselves a little. Another truck. Stamps are so damn little. <laughs> Sorry. I love stamps. I'll send my box and you play with them and then send me some back. <laughs> oh. Send them to me. I'll take them. They are nasty little boogers. They either stick or they to something that you don't want, the ones you don't want to stick, stick to something. Here's some from Salon, Romania, Turkey, Panama, Argentina, Mexico, the Netherlands. I am so mad. Why? I saw an ad not far from here. They were selling... They probably had 30, 40 books of stamps. There's another Tom Sawyer. I mean, just... Were they unrealistic? No! They were selling the whole thing. I, I mean, there may have been a hundred um, those big, thick yeah. notebooks uh -huh. full of stamps. What kind of price did they have? Dollars. That's it. I got uh, man. I sent them a message so quick. They already oh. had somebody pending. I was like, if they cancel, I will be there tonight. All you have to do is let no. me know. No. Well, of course, they weren't going to let them go. Heck no. They got lucky on that, the little boogers. Well, how did El you Salvador? Jiminy Christmas. These are not stamps. Oh, you bought from Becky, so you must have. I got something for you, Beck, but you don't have enough to make it worth shipping, so I'm hanging on. Hanging on, hanging on, which we talked about, so. This is the stamps I was looking for, and I knew I threw them in here, and now I'm taking them back out. I knew I wouldn't like it. My Medieval Mirage, I love them. I bought this. I've had it a while, but I love it. It makes stamp cutouts. <gasps> yes. I love this thing. I wanted these the thing that you punch out um, that funky tab like you can hang on a shelf. Do you know what they want for that little booger? I've got one. $66. Oh no. If you want no. Are you That's talking a punch like this? It just punches out the hole and elongated. Um, like a topper. Those aren't 60 I've Got a couple different ones. Well, the only one I could find was sixty-six dollars. And Wendy on Journal Junk Journal Adventures said they were pricey. And I thought, well, they're going to keep them for sixty-six bucks because I can't even justify that. I, where did you get it from? Because I I spent one whole night totally frustrated looking for one. Never did get, never did find it. Yeah. Yep. Get one like this. 
Becky, did I buy something from you? If I did, we can swap invoices and save that. <laughs> no. Yes. And then there's one that goes up a little and it's got a... I know, but this is not $60. $66 for that one. And I thought, you're not. No, uh, no, 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 no. I think I've got the other one too, but it may be in the other room. What did you, where did you find that one? Do you remember? I've got it off Amazon. Okay. I, I looked on Amazon. I looked on, I looked on Amazon. I looked on eBay. Buddy, I wanted one. And Paula looked, and she. <laughs> oh, well. I can't find it. I find stuff. Paula didn't. Yeah. Well, I didn't find Diddly Squat. Well, here's me a book that tells me all about the world's rarest stamp. Hard to identify. The I'm stamp. not being very nice, Paula. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, she's not. I'm not. <laughs> oh no! I threw that on the floor. Yeah, Becky, I'll send you a message and tell you what your invoice is. You send me a message, tell me what mine is, and we'll figure it out. And I put it in an envelope, but it wasn't, it still wasn't going to be cost effective. But if you're like me at some point in time, I just say, oh, shoe on that. All right, I got to do that. But I like this thing because look, it's the same size. Well, it's a little bit smaller. That's perfect, though. And I mean, you can cut. You found it on Amazon, too? Uh, where did I get this one? No, I may have gotten that one off eBay. But yeah. But I think I've got the other one that's similar to this that has the their hang tag punches or whatever. Yes, the hang tag punch. And I can't even remember. It wasn't the company that I'm used to making it. You know what I mean? I don't want those out. How'd you sneak out? But yeah, it wasn't like EK Success or Stamperia or any company that I normally buy stamps and punches from. EK Success or whatever. It wasn't any of those. All right, where did my rubber band flip off to? I mean, it went. I have more than little boogers. Okay, that's two envelopes. What are we gonna do to this one? That one's done, except for stuffing. We need a pretty on here. You're not it. Uh, I love stuffing envelopes. I like making envelopes. I like making envelopes. I do, I do. I need some red right down here. Gosh, Becky, I can't remember what I bought. Maybe I came in late to the sale. You I did. Mean, you were at the doctor or something. I, I either had to take Dave or I had to go. Oh, I that. think it was the eye doctor. Oh, that's right. My post checkup. I bet. I think it was the eye doctor. Well, I'm done and Dave set his up and he set it up. And one of the dates he's got is right after my knee surgery, if I'm lucky enough to get to have it. So he was talking to his daughter and she said, well, dad, I've got vacation days. I'll take you. I thought he was going to cry. I said, well, of course she would. I told you she would. He said, well, I didn't call to get you to take me because you've got to work. She said, I got lots of vacation days. It's not a problem, dad. You just tell me what day and I'll be there to get you. Which thrilled him to death, you know. So. Why is it so hard to ask for help? We're not having to have. We're the ones that always took them when they needed to go. So it's so hard to. 
Well, and that would not be a fun vacation day. And he said, she's in Evansville, which is about an hour and 15 minutes or so from us. So he was telling her, I think my appointment, one of them's at eight and the other one's at 8.15. And she said, so I get up 5.30, 6 o'clock to go to work. I'll just come get you. She said, if you're done and I take you home, I can go back half a day or I'll goof off the rest of the day. She said, it's not a problem, Dad. So she's got the first one covered. If I can't make it or don't make it, she's she's got it handled. And I'll let her. Because I'm not sure I'll feel like going and sitting in an office. That'll be nice time. They, they're good together. What? They are good together. No, I just had a message pop up. I'm like, what? Oh. Oh, that stuff just went on the floor. What stuff? All this little ephemera, and I mean little. <laughs> Get a magnet. <laughs> I mean little ephemera. Lick your finger. Pick it up. <laughs> You're my germaphobe. You're not going to lick your finger and pick it up. Oh, oh, Becky sent me a picture of Duchess. Oh, show Isn't it. Isn't your birthday? Well, hang on. Do I have my phone? Yeah, I do. Oh, hang on. I got this stuck to my finger. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, she's a pretty baby. She's 10 today. Yeah. I, I think today she goes 10. I don't know. Yeah. If it, is it her birthday, Becky? There. My boxer just turned six. There. Can you see her? Oh, she's so cute. Now, when she'd bark, she would get my attention. Oh, haven't you heard her? Yes, that's what I mean. I would be a little concerned. She doesn't like the postal people or I bet they're, not. They're they're on her her watch. Her pay attention. I am not sure I like you list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was she an ex police dog, Becky? I guess I ought to get back on YouTube, huh? Well, yeah, it would be nice. I might be able to see her. Oh, birthday in March. I got, yeah, I got the picture, Becky. Showed it. She's so sweet. Dwayne is nurse mating the two kittens that are four weeks old. And I'm telling you what, Becky, you'll ask him where they're at. And he just goes, oh, my God, I forgot they were here. Let me go find them. <laughs> they're just coming out of the spot mommy hit them in. And walking oh, around. You might want to be sure they all know that's the dog. Yes, that's my baby. Boxer, 92 pound boxer. And not the, your hubby. <laughs> yeah. That's Dave, my hubby. Dwayne yeah. is my baby. My baby, my baby. Dave says they're out of their hole. And I'm going, they are four weeks old. They are going to get out of that hole. And you're just going to like it. It's time they went outside. And I said, they're not weaned yet. And they're not going outside. Get over it. Most of the time, you don't even know they're here. I was having my sale mail and Chloe got in my box. I put my sale stuff in. And I slung something in the box with cloth of some kind. And it landed right on her. And she stuck her head up with it laying on her head. And I've got, mm-hmm. Probably like a dead to like a crazy woman. Oh, she was on the kill abandoned. Oh, no. I can't Wait, stick what? that. She was, as in the police talk, she was on the kill list abandoned. And she saw her on the internet and went and got her. How can people be so cruel? can't stand that because people get animals 
and then they can't afford it. The ones that make me mad are the ones that get animals constantly. I've got one, and they just trade them out like they're stamps or something. Well, well once they get big, they're not cute anymore. Exactly. Well, they're still your baby. Don't you people understand? Oh, gosh. Mine are my babies. You die at Jill's house. If you can't get along with everybody, I've been known to separate and put upstairs, downstairs, and bring it up and down, at, you know, until I find an appropriate home to rehome you. That's happened one time that I had to do that. Well, I've gotten two uh, rescue dogs. And boy, do they... It's like they really appreciate you. Yes. It's like I know what they were going to do to me. Thank you. I usually get older dogs. I would I would still like to have one more with puppy breath. But I know I, I won't know. because I'll end up rescuing or someone that needs to rehome one. I know that's what I'll do because that's what I always do. And that's okay. That's okay. My daughter likes the older ones because they're usually semi-trained. And calmer. Yeah, puppies. <laughs> See, I've, I've done a lot of puppy training, and I can do it. Now that I'm retired, I could really do a good job. Oh, I, I've trained my dogs from puppies, but it's work. It is. You've got to really stay on it or have a lot of chewed up and ruined rugs uh, and furniture, furniture and furniture <laughs> i'd never crated anybody but Dwayne had been used to being kenneled in a crate so when we left until he got used to it and i knew he wouldn't chew anything up i have antique furniture i value it's not antique furniture it's, it's family antique furniture so we didn't let him out and then makes it antique if it to me it makes family. it yeah somebody in the family had it and it meant something to me so wasn't willing to have any more teeth marks on any of it i did have one piece. scary though that well you know vintage is the true is at least 50 years exactly i count it as 50. Um, but our stuff that we grew up with now, yes, is vintage. Yep. Or when you go, you get on one of those things like I, this is a mess. But anyway, you get on one of those websites, and you, when it says your birth year, and you have yep. to click, and now you have to scroll and scroll. <laughs> That pisses oh, me off. It sets like, in my oh. head every time. Oh my God. I knew I was old. Thank you for reminding I'm old. me. Thank you for reminding me, people. Yeah, <laughs> it's like so kind of you. Okay, that's not gonna stick. Why? That is so pretty. No, it's not. Put it in my box and just don't worry about it. It'll be loved. All right, there's two cards. Now, what I are you really going to that you can't stamp on stuff and copy it. Yeah. You know? I should get my stamp up, but guess what? We're not. What are we going to do to you? Well, stamps, you know, are good fillers, but if I make a photo of it, Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't stamp it. That's against copyright. Oh, hateful people. <laughs> oh, hateful people. Okay, that won't work because that's the wrong kind of envelope. I was going to copy what I did the other day, make the little thing binder here to catch it. But that won't work on this. Were you able to get it? Hey, there's Taylor. 
Taylor. Sorry, Taylor, I wasn't looking. We're a small group, but we're a happy group. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Oh, that's just because Jill's been drinking. Not yet. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just start. messing around. I might ought to start drinking this. This is not. This looks like a. A collage. <laughs> no. It looks. I, I'm not happy with this. I keep telling her just to put it in my box and don't look at it. It'll be okay. <laughs> I don't like it. She keeps fidgeting with it. No, it, I fidget with it because it looks like. <laughs> looks like crap. I don't like it. What don't you like? I know you think it's discombobulated and not joined in any way, shape or form. Okay, look at it in the sense that you're going to cut it up. I know, but it, it's. Can you cut it up in your mind and that make it a pretty tag? Oh, I can. I can shred it in my mind. That, no, let's not shred it. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> I'm just not usually this. I know, Taylor, it's beautiful. It's vibrant. She uses vibrant colors. I have trouble doing that. I don't always use vibrant. That's no, you all don't. I've got right at the moment, though. I didn't get up and go get my napkins, so I'm not playing with colors today. Well, I just had those sitting over there, so I grabbed them. But now I'm I'm usually not a vibrant color person. I'm not. No, she's not. She does the muted and the naturals normally. I'm the very vintagey browns and right, Becky. Look at it in sections, like it's your tag, and and it's beautiful if you do that. I like it like it is, but. I can really see it as a tag. What about we punch a hole and put a Brad in that? Brad's Jill. Where did you put them? See, these are muted. Muted, yes. muted, muted. That's and those cool. usually are what I go for. I love but muted. I'm a muted person. Oh, I, I like it. pops of color. Yes. Oh, Becky, I was going to show you this one. Oh. Yeah, Jill wants me to give her this one. I'll pay for it. I no, don't care. I meant yes. Either way, Jill wants that one. Darn, I wish I had brought that paper down with me. Oh, you girls, if you saw the paper she just made and copied up, oh, my God. I'm trying to get her to walk up there and get it, but I know what she's, I know she's thinking, oh my God. I you meant to bring it down here too, but I made a cappuccino instead. You see where her priorities lie, not with us. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I love my cappuccinos. Mine, what's yours? What? Oh, the bird? Mine, your hiney. <laughs> you can have the next one if I don't see it first. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll make some more of these. Sounds like well, a plan. It won't have that bird on it because that's cut out of a magazine. I like that one. That one I like. Okay, Jill. Yes, go get the paper. You might as well. You know, we're going to have to see um, it. If Steve goes upstairs with the air conditioner. Ooh. Yeah, we're out of a, we've been out of our upstairs air conditioner. Of all times of year. Few days in 90 degree weather. Yeah. Not a pretty sight. And they came out today. They weren't, they were going to come tomorrow. Came today. And the guy goes, well, I was hoping it was your, I was laughing because I told him that reminds me of the Lux capacitor. Yes. But, um, I like that. Ooh, that looks good on that blue. 
I like that. I don't think you got you my orange it. butterfly to go on your blue. Okay, what do you think of this? No, the um, those pink flowers over that blue. Well, it's not gonna focus, is it? Is that one of those things Shauna sold? I, is that your Dooley Flotchy and then I got the little Brad to go in the middle of it? That'd be okay? Why not? I think it is. Well, I think it's okay. Why not? I You're going to want to cover that, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to cover that. That'll drive me insane. <clears throat> I can't stand that. I don't uh, use my brads very often because I could never remember where I put them. Well, I put them in an enamel pan with a big sticker on the side that says, All Season Brads. Well, Taylor, we... I can find them now. It's another reason my allergies have gone wacko is because I've been sleeping at night with just the fan and no air, which really congests me badly. But Taylor, Steve went over. Um, I live in the house my we bought when my parents moved here so I could help them. Or we could help them, I should say. Um, and my daughter is living in my old house. Or our old house. So he went over and got a window air conditioner. I do have air downstairs here. Because it has two different systems. <clears throat> Thank goodness. That's not very helpful in the nighttime because they sleep upstairs, though. Well, yeah, we sleep upstairs, but. No. No, 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 Jill. Have I have one up. of those portable air conditioners on the back porch. So. I got more crap. I mean, so we do have air, but when you're upstairs cooking or sleeping or it gets a little warm. So the part hopefully will be in Tuesday. She was telling me she's making this homemade paper and the sweat's just dripping off of her and she couldn't figure out why. <laughs> yeah. Then she realized the air conditioner was a no-go. Well, actually, Steve did, but... <laughs> Why are you sweating so bad? Well, I told him, I said, it's hot up here. And did you check the thermostat? Well, no, I'm in the middle of making paper. So I've not really moved much from my little project here. So he goes and checks it, and he goes, well, it's set on 73, and it's reading 80. What about that? And I went, well, that's a good reason. No wonder I'm sweating. No wonder I'm sweating up here. Yeah, that's a distinct problem. Oh, these are play cigarette cards. Fake cigarette cards. That's what I meant. Ooh, I faux. didn't even know I faux. had faux. Thank you. Faux. Get it right, Jill. Faux, Jill. <laughs> faux. Oh, I'll try harder. Ooh, 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 I like that. And it's F-A-U-X. <laughs> I can spell it. I might not think to say it, but I can spell it. I don't know. That goes, I like that. Okay, that's decided. I was listening. I've been watching that Kohlberger. Ugh. I know. I'm afraid I'll get addicted. <laughs> I truly well, am. right now it's so much speculation, it's ridiculous, but. Um, you can make fun of them. There was some guy. I'm not sure that what was he. There. He was saying it totally wrong. And I was like, and he kept saying the same word. What was it? I can't remember the word. Um, it was pre something. And I'm like, Oh, my God, say the word right. Or just don't use it at all. Well, he was reading. 
Uh, and I mean, butchering the word, butchering. I thought they were smart enough. They should just automatically proof that to see if they're going to make a fool of themselves speaking. <laughs> you can put a microphone in front of anybody. We're living proof, Jill. Yes. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. Okay. Oh my, my daughter thinks it's hysterical that we're on. When she'll say, where did you find these people? Cause she was trying to help me. <laughs> And now she knows where I found you guys. Yeah, and I'm like, hey, everybody's got to have somebody that loves Beth, Brittany. I want to call her Bethany, and I do not know why. No, it's Brittany. Yeah, if I get it after I say Beth, well, then I hit, a, oh, I hit it again. Oh, homemade paper I want Oh, some. that's pretty. All right, now we need something here. Well, actually, Taylor, I mean, I've, I've made it. But I stole an idea. <laughs> you little thief. I did. I stole. I, and darn it. I, I'd have to go look up her name. Uh, Michelle Scott has been selling her paper. And she had some cute ideas. But I did the one. Um. She calls hers coffee. I call mine espresso because I use espresso coffee. But it turns out really neat. But I have been researching a lot. And um, so I bought... It's sizing for paper making. It's very expensive. And that's what I was going to do. Bring I meant to bring it because what the sizing does technically is if you use ink on it, like all oh, cute, like writing, I wouldn't. Is that already glued? Yeah. Oh. You wouldn't put it? I don't want it there now. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm trying to get it it's off. cute, but that... Not there. That's not a... No. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? The sizing. Oh, the sizing. Like, if you do painting or um, like ink... Not not your ballpoint pens, but like inks. You know how it will spread out and like run. That's what the sizing's for. Dang it! And well, kind of longevity, but I don't know. Paper making is a lot of work. I've got everything to do it with. I just haven't done it in years. I like making it. No. I got to oh, get up there and girl. make I need to get up there and make some. Hey, Mimi. Hi, Mimi. Oh, yeah. I'm a researcher, Taylor. She she does all our research and then lets us know because we're too lazy and incompetent most of the time to no, do it. No, it's it's um I've always been that type of person. Okay, what about that? That that's better. That goes better with it. I think so. What do you think, Becky? <laughs> All right, Becky, before I glue. Since she didn't agree with me on the butterfly. Put the thing down again. I'm scared to touch it. No, 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 no. The, the flap. Oh. That looks better than the mouse. The mouse is cute, but it didn't work. Well, no, the mouse didn't go with that. Um, uh -uh. 
or I've got old postcards that came with this book that might work better. Oh, a little, a little collage there would be cute. Yep. Little label and I got labels. I got all sorts of labels. But that's me. I'm going to be cooking and listening. So now I, I didn't send your cookbook yet. <laughs> oh, God, I've got to send her some. Steve went and got, I have boxes of cookbooks. And I mean boxes. I'm glad I didn't know you when I was in that mode. Oh, they're, my dad, if he saw a cookbook. Um, I've got a lot of diabetic cookbooks if anyone wants them. I can't get anybody around here to eat out of a diabetic cookbook. I, you know what? People He's just so don't, picky. No, people give diabetic stuff. It, it's, it gets a bad rap. Yes, it does. And I like a lot of the recipes. Yeah. It, it, I can't get you know who to make a diabetic food any of them. You know, I don't want that. That's food. That's not what I want. Since I glued you, we got to save you. All right. What are we doing here? We got to do something because we made a mess. I'm really regretting putting this on here. Cover it up. It's wallpaper. Ah, crap. Oh, <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be hard to cook. Yes, it is. Nope. Nope. Peel it off. Going to have to suffer with it. You can put a fussy cut on it when you cut it up. <laughs> well, if that's just on there, it'd be okay. You know. But I regret putting that on there. It doesn't go. And I've got a blob up here. I don't like this. It's a blob. I've got a blob in this one sheet. I've got to start tearing up. I haven't done it yeah, yet. It, it, it made a blob. It's a dark piece and everything else was pastels and it's just not going to work. Yeah, I don't like that. don't like it. I need but until I backed away and looked at it as a whole, I didn't notice it being so crappy. This is the only word I can think of. So, Taylor, are you dying any papers yet? Yeah, I'll have to send you a few pieces, Taylor, when I make a few more. I made a very small batch. What was Paula... Uh, it, no, it's too dark for me. And then I showed her that one that was a boo, boo Oh, my God. She fell in love with that. I want that. I'm like, but Paula, you can, it's a boo-boo. Not to me, it's not. <laughs> she, I want it. I'm like, okay. We'll do that. Chill. Chillax. I may put that down. But... Darn it. Okay, we're... Gosh, my lag is horrible. It is. Mine's not too bad. <laughs> Taters will tell you I don't need any. Paula tells me I, I bought material with oh. Katie's the other day, and she said, Jill, quit. I said, I got rid of three boxes. I can have these two pieces. <laughs> Well, I told you, Mimi, I had some for you. The ones Steve pulled down were not the ones I thought. Yeah, see, Paula, be nice to me. I knew you were listening. <laughs> it's self yeah. isn't it, Paula? Eco's next. I haven't made any for a while. Oh, I don't like making eco. Taylor can make my eco, and I'll just... Tell her what I need. I like the harvesting is what I like. 
<sighs> Love the harvest. That's probably my favorite part. But then when I get done with that, then I'm like, ugh. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It it's is a lot of work. And I don't feel the gratification that I know I probably should. I'm not that patient. Patient is the only word I can think of to describe what I'm you know not. What's weird? Crap. I don't have as much patience with people, but I do inanimate objects. And my critters. I'm patient with them. Yes. But um, yep, I understand that. All too well. <laughs> poor Draco, when I'm trying to do something and he's. Drago was slurping her. And I said, there's my slurper. He never missed a tongue lick. Uh, he was just, he's a doll. Does okay. he do that to Brittany? No. She won't let him? No. So he has to get it all out of his system while he's at your house? Yes. <laughs> I mean, she lets him. I, I, oh, yeah, I'm sure. No, she doesn't let him slurp he is a slurper now uh yes see he used to do that steve with steve and all of a sudden over the past six months it's been grandma <laughs> grandma gets all the favoritism and i cannot just pet him with one hand he wants my other one he wants it all Yes. Okay, that's the best it's gonna get, guys. I like it. I do too. All right. Bits and pieces, bits and pieces. So have you start started on your paper, Taylor? Or are you still procrastinating or <laughs> Wait, Jill, I said bye. One, two, have to go. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, she just got up. Jill, I didn't say that. Uh-oh, we're behind on her. Oh, Paula, we're giving you a hard time. Of course we are, because you're not here to defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, really. This is our prime time, Paula. Yeah, we can say anything we want. You can get us later. If you can. Oh, she will. <laughs> I know. We'll I don't, pay, I'm not sure we will ever. pay for it. We're going to pay for it. And that's okay. Yep. No. I'm thick skinned. I can take it, Paula. Well, I might not be as thick skinned, but I can take it too. No, you cry. I try. She won't let me. Well, no. Big baby. There's I no am. crying and crafting. Doesn't work out well. I am really not liking this. I need a bird. I Where need another birds? bird. I need a bird. All right. She's got to pull out the birds. Yep, this will be a moment. Oh, man. Birds. Oh, my gosh. This heaven is too heavy. I'm gonna have to have a bigger tub. Jeez. I did some echo printing papers, but the others I am procrastinating on till they're let's see. A case of papers. Yeah, crafting's not a cheap no. That's what I laughingly said. If I can just pay for part of my habit, <laughs> I'm happy. Well, the canaries are beautiful, but they're not, they're too big. Okay. I got to get a bird too, pa uh, Paula, Jill. I'm really, really not liking this. I told you how to solve it and you just don't listen. Well, uh, you may, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were needing one to cut up. I know that. Birds and Blooms magazine may be too shiny for this. If I added some books. Ooh. 
No, see, those aren't going to go. <sighs> stick with the... Stick with the critters. I hate using my fussy cuts. Yeah, I know what you mean. Those should be reserved for after you get it all collaged. Uh, Doesn't always work out that way. Well, if you've gone through and done all this fussy cutting, I like it for tags and stuff. That's why I do it. Or my envelopes. I got some funky birds. Need some funky. Blue. Some funky birds. Need some blue. To go with this peachy. I didn't plant any cone flowers this year. I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, I'm so excited about my moon flowers. I don't have any of those right now, and I need to go get me some more going. Oh, crap. Well, you know what? Maybe one bird. <laughs> Maybe one. And the reason being, it's got butterflies. Maybe I'll go back to butterflies. Oh, I think all of these are going to be too big. That just doesn't go with that. That might. The colors. It's on the back, so it doesn't have to go, go. Oh, man. Pretty, pretties. Big Mama. My Big Mama. Cool beans. That reminds me, I've got a box for the kids, Taylor. Expect it when I send yours. Speaking of kids. Taylor, it's my utility. Pay it when you get it. <laughs> yeah. One of my shows, the they had trouble paying their bills, so they'd send the electric check in the water bill and the water check in the electric bill. And then they got another four or five days to pay the bill. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to think of that. Ooh, too big. Actually, it doesn't help you. No, I don't think it would eventually. But you still, too bad, lady, it's late. Yep, now add the late charge to it. Yep. Evidently, this was an ongoing thing with them. It wasn't just a one-time no. deal. Pretty Which sure they're catching on. More suspicious. Yep, pretty sure they're catching on. Small town they lived in, so probably. Ooh. Oh, there's my cauliflowers. I need orange or peach or something. Really, that butterfly would not be bad. Not that one. Oop, that one didn't get cut. Big Mom, are you working on a journal? Aren't these beautiful pictures, Big Mama? I love this book. His dad and I, when he was alive, we always tried to see who could outdo the other one on a bird book to attract, and we'd swap. Swap out bird books. So when he passed, he said, you be sure and take all our books and put them in one place, sis. And I said, I will, Dad.
I wouldn't cut him up for years. He's been gone over 10 years. I don't think he'd be upset with me. I'm mm. upset with him. He wouldn't let me, wouldn't let that darn cactus. I took his cactus too because he wanted me to have it. It never bloomed but one time in the, over 10 years. Yep. Oh, God. my dad. The books I've got are. God, I'm messy. God, oh gosh, I miss mine too. I miss him bad. I didn't uh, have him for very long, but he sure was a doll. We, uh, my dad's books are like all kinds of. Um, like he'd read the George Pattons and the, all the uh, historical. I've got some very interesting books. But I, I used to couldn't read them, but I could probably do it now. Well, I've got some if you want to read them. There. I've got three books right now. This is the first time the past six months that I haven't had at least two books going. One of his favorite books was on MacArthur. Yeah, you told me. Oh. I always chop the antenna off my butterflies. <laughs> no. I just got my... Um, Not on purpose. Was it... Um, no, I purposely take them off. I've been uh, known to draw them on, but... That's why I got that uh, set of stamps, because it had the the antennas. Oh, I've got to get with Wendy. I want and those farm animal stamps. Jacqueline. Jacqueline uh, had them? No, it was, um, well, it was Jacqueline. Jess Stevens. Ah, the other Jacqueline. But Jacqueline Haley gifted those to me. That would be great. wonder where she got them at. They were stamping up. I need to look in. The one stamping up stamp his sister didn't have. Because <laughs> I'd have kept that one in a heartbeat. Penny, Pudge, where are you? I need that stamping up stamp. All right, well. Make me feel bad. If you can wait, I can do it. I'll entertain. What are you going to go do? Put an air conditioner in? He's calling my daughter over. It's okay. It's okay. She's a good girl. Yeah, she's, she's a daddy's girl too, isn't she? Yes, she is. I was a daddy's girl. Not that mom and I weren't close, but I was definitely a daddy's girl. Okay, I'm fussy because it's stupid butterfly out. No, you're not stupid, baby. You're beautiful. Hang on. I think a lot of girls are daddy girls. Yeah. All right, Big Mama Taylor, Becky. Who else is still here? Shauna, did you weenie out? <laughs> Mimi's cooking. Oh, gosh, yes. Got lots of... I've got... They used to buy my son... Fishing, fishing and hunting videos and I, I <sighs> and I'm terrible. Okay, I big mama, where did I put my tea bags? I can't let go. No, nope. and I don't There's need this. Wrong with that. No, I don't need it. It. I, Brittany wants us to declutter. <laughs> She's ready, but you're not quite. She doesn't want to be left with all of this. Oh. Which I don't blame her. I really don't. Tell her to call your friends and we'll come and purchase. Help her out. Buy sit and call us. All right, Big Mama. Oh, I've already told her people to get a hold of for yeah. my 
craft. Exactly. But well, you and Paula are it. You figure out what you're going to do with it and then just sell it to somebody, okay? But don't <laughs> let him burn it. Please don't let him burn it. No, no, no. Is it in the cup? No, it's not. <laughs> I think there I has to be happy mail in heaven. I hope so. Okay, I know where it's at. Can I get to it? Probably not. So are we paper clipping it for later? Yes, we are. I wish I could say there was. There we go. Okay, Big Mama, we'll fix finish it with a tea bag instead of that postcard later. Huh? It'll work. Two down, one to go. Yeah, I wish. Oh, this is a blank space. We can do something with this. I am real. This just looks like a hodgepodge of. Now, that's what collage is. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. You're not going with the flow here. No. Oh my gosh. Now, collage is not supposed to look like this. Collage is an expression of the artist. Yeah, well, this is not expressing me. Well, actually, it may be. It may be expressing. It may be expressing my discombobulation today. Yeah. I just needed a day to play upstairs and not well paper in the floor, which is what I'm doing, and I'll be so mad later. Well, this is what I get for just hurrying and here's just some dill. Who needed dill the other day? Somebody dill? Oh, my, my housekeeper. Yes. I think I've got some growing out there that came up from the seed. Volunteer <coughs> stone. Yep, I got some. Volunteer. I know that's not exactly probably what. If, oh, it's got a butterfly. Don't look. Don't look, Martha. I, I'm just not feeling this at all i know in that napkin it's i think it's beautiful but i have had the same problem with things i don't like because i did them well it, it, it's just not doing what i want you know it's not speaking to you huh not at all <laughs> not at all darn it all right, that's not going to work alone. No, this is not speaking to me at all. Actually, it is speaking to me. <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> oh, <God. Ew. laughs> Sorry. It's my channel. <laughs> I'll get dinged. No, you won't. I have heard things on channels that I am like, you know, there are words you can't say. Yes. But there um, are words you shouldn't say also. Um, well, no, the stuff you can't say is like, why? I mean, it's silly stuff. You know, like if you're discussing a murder case, they can't use the word D-U-N. They can't. Why? I, I don't know why. I guess it's to keep. I got to. I got to cover that. That's, that's <laughs> got to cover that. Um, but yet they can. Excuse me, ladies. They can say the F word. I know, big mom. I can't help it. And I, I don't understand the, um, I don't understand it. 
Did you see Big Mama's explanation of? Said them all and feel bad. No, about that. Collage uh, of the collage of the vacuum. Yeah, yeah, well, that's about what mine did on this. It <laughs> exploded. Oops! It went bonkers. It. Um, yeah, it went. Oh, I don't like that on there. See, I got to cover that too now. <laughs> that one piece is going to be very thick by the time she gets done. Yes, it is because I don't like it. Get another piece of paper and start over. No. <laughs> oh, you big weenie. Come on. No, I'm not. I tried. I know. What can I'm I say? Stubborn. Just a little. I'm, I'm stubborn. Maybe a little. Oh, wait. Strong willed, something like that. Yep. Downright obstinate. Oh, I can be that. Especially okay. if, if it's something on principle oh, oh yeah. my gosh. i will fight to the death on principle <laughs> and i know i shouldn't we don't agree to disagree on some things huh no 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 i can my own opinion if it if it comes down to principle with me, yeah, there's no, um, I'm not going to sit and argue with you about it. No, no, because you're entitled to your opinion too. Well, sometimes I guess I've been told. My, <laughs> sometimes not, huh? Uh, I was, yeah, well, we won't go there. All right, I'm having trouble here. Probably because this isn't what it needs. And but maybe the person was right when they said their opinion was the only one that mattered. I don't think so. Well, if you think about it. It matters to her and that's fine, but don't include yeah, me yeah. in that. Because that's not right. But my opinion matters too. Yep. To me. And you should respect me for that. No, I got blocked. <laughs> well, you know, do you really care from someone that has that opinion? No. Or Johnny Depp of all things. My Lord. Yeah, of all the things to pick. Uh huh. I'm thinking not worth it there. <laughs> Boy, he's a good artist. I know. I couldn't believe that. Very good. Golly. He does have multi-talents. Yeah. <laughs> Darn him. Ooh, that's the one. Never mind all these others. <laughs> On the bottom of the stack, of course. I'm just Dang. really having trouble with this. I don't like it. <laughs> you say that one more time, I'm going to ground you. <laughs> ground me, because I'm going to say it again. You're going to say it again. I am going to say oh it again. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I don't. Cut it up for me. Actually, what I need to do, i got to let it all dry. I know. I'm anxious to see it cut up. <laughs> I guess I ought to, uh, it would be really bad to ask him to stop and go get me that paper. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> yes. He might think, uh, hello, Mel. I, yeah, I know. He'd probably look at me like, you really Seriously. want me to stop right now? You Seriously. Your mind. Seriously. Yeah, I think you'd be in trouble.
Man, he's he's just, such a good guy, he'd probably do oh, it. Oh, he would in a heartbeat. You know he would. I know, but I'd feel guilty asking him to. That didn't work out real well. At least I wasn't one of those kids in school who ate glue. How many of you ate glue? No. That wasn't my thing. Big Mama, did you cook glue? I got in trouble for saying that Bonnie was in the garden hoeing log. <laughs> A serious timeout. Oh, boy. That's funny. I'm sorry. My okay. mom was a teacher, and they took the kids to some, not a zoo, but something, you know, animal thing. And you know how they divide the kids up, and the moms are with these kids, and well, I guess afterwards, they found out that one of the little girls that went home later, you know, her mom asked her how much, you know, did she have fun? And she goes, oh, yeah, we had lots of fun, but they have funny potties there. We all kept sliding off the toilets. They were in the little boy's room. <laughs> And they were trying to sit on the urinals. That didn't work out. And then, oh, I bet mother was thrilled. I thought it was hysterical. It's kind of funny, yeah. My mom thought it was funny. Well, if a teacher thought it was funny, we're probably okay. <laughs> well, it probably was okay. Well, no, they thought it was fun. They didn't realize it, you know. And. They didn't realize the that they figured it out. I bet they did. I bet they did. Paste is not glue. <laughs> paste, yeah, paste. I didn't eat paste either, but sand. I like to crunch sand. What's oh, that gosh. About? I know, I know. Of all the gross things to put in your mouth, that was mine. There is nowhere on the body sand feels good. Oh, I love sand. Maybe your toes. Maybe your toes. Oh, no. That's too gritty. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I loved it. You're making my teeth hurt. <laughs> no, no, no. So that had to be nutritious. Now that makes me nauseous thinking about it because I know you're correct on the horse hoof thing. Uh oh. Yuck. Oh. <laughs> My germaphobe just had a heart attack. <laughs> I will say this it smelled good. Yes. So did the ink when they ran off the pages for us. You remember when you roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and it roll off the pages and all that fresh ink? Oh, my God. See, that's why you like journaling. That's why I like books is that smell. No, I, but I just, it smelled good. I will say that. I could see where maybe some kids took a bite of it. Play-Doh. I had to watch Amelia with Play-Doh. She wants to, she says it's salty. And it is. No, Big Mama, I can guarantee you. I never have and never will eat chicken feet. Oh, God, no. I won't eat tongue. I won't. Nope. nope. No tongue. I'm not fond of liver except chicken livers. I will eat chicken livers. I, sh I didn't chew my pencil, but the eraser wasn't bad. 
Oh gosh. That makes me mad. I didn't pay attention. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I was a germaphobe from an early age. And you just weren't aware. Oh this my is gosh. so much fun. <laughs> Well, we hadn't connected with everybody. There's been so many sales and everybody's been so busy. And I told Mel, I said, we need to do a craft and chat tomorrow night and uh, see what we come up with. Because I said, we've not done one in forever. And I don't know what everybody's up to anymore. I've lost track of everybody. Well, I okay. have this needs something come on people give me some ideas where's becky she doesn't mind speaking up nope she'll tell you becky, i'll tell you you're just not listening becky will tell me put it in the trash <laughs> oh no, she liked it she said cut it up she thinks that will solve your problem as i do yeah but i like it you must have had a really great lunchbox. <laughs> My mom was a very good cook. I will say that. My dad was a better cook than my mom, but my mom was a good cook. Oh, bless my dad's heart. No. Not his thing? Well, when my mom got ill... Dad had to start cooking. Ooh. Well, bless his heart. He he put everything into it. He really did. Just not his forte. But, well, he was a chemical engineer. So, Dad, trust me, his candy making... Uh, Rivaled everybody. Um, it doesn't rival them. They he they they don't come close. Oh man, he was good. No, there. no. I really should. Um, I really should market his candy. Seriously. I I'll go feed my babies. I should. But anyway. What was I saying? Oh. His cooking? He would cook. But, like, my dad had no sense of taste. Oh, that makes unless, it hard. Unless it was sweet. And he made breakfast for me one time when we were visiting, which was really sweet of him. I took one bite of the toast and I went, it was toast with jelly, butter and jelly, right? Yeah. I was like, what, what is this? <laughs> Poor dad. He, oh gosh. He was putting garlic on it. Oh dad. No, that's not going to work jelly. Out. Oh geez. And I was and there sat my mom just eating away. <laughs> well, I, okay, mom. <laughs> I went, mom, this tastes like garlic. She goes, probably, because but I don't want to hurt his feelings. And I'm like, mm, poor mom. mom. I don't oh. know what all she ate. <laughs> Evidently a lot of stuff. I mean, oh my gosh. Bless his heart. Hey, he tried. Oh, he did. And he took care of her from 2003 until 20, 2013. Mm. And he just couldn't do it anymore. His health and 
I so started to say he got down on you too, didn't he? Yes. Well, that's because he went outside to kill a bat. But why would he kill a bat? I love them. Because it was pooping on his porch. Oh, Dad, take the hose. <laughs> My dad had a history with bats. He wasn't tolerating the bat thing, huh? No. Well, I he first moved bit, here. No, he got bit by a bat. And he had to go through all the rabies shots. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You'd think he would have learned to stay away from them. To leave them. Well, they didn't stay away from him either. It doesn't sound like. Well, they seem to come out on the winning side. Yeah. Tend to do that every now and then. I don't know. I'm going to rip this. Yeah, well, he almost died from that. Well, he survived the bite. But the other one, he broke five ribs, punctured his lung. What in the world? From trying to kill it? Yeah, because he got one. And he walked over to the other side of the porch. And he started backing up, trying to see. Uh-oh. And he went down the stairs. Oh, he's lucky and, he didn't break his neck. Uh, yeah, because he, the car was parked there. Oh, my God. And he bashed his head into the, and it was cold out. It was his birthday, his 80 third birthday and he's chasing bats around oh my gosh well that was after he promised me he was going right to bed mm -hmm. dad the doors are locked the alarm's on please don't mess with anything oh i'm going to bed i'm going to bed but the bats were out <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh yeah Oh, my gosh. And when he was at the hospital, I'd already told his doctor. Because this was the second go around with the bats. <laughs> oh, God. And he, the doctor, he was laughing because he knows my dad. And, well, I guess he said something to my dad. Well, when I came in to see him, because he was in ICU. God, what? He looks at me and he goes, Hey, Melanie, um, let's just keep the bat story to ourselves. <laughs> uh, too, too late, late. Too, too late. late. I've already told him. Yep. Yes, I know. One of the Spread it one anymore. The, well, <laughs> one of the trauma team doctors was an Oriental man. And he told my dad, he goes, bats bring good luck. You need to leave them alone. Please leave them alone. Dad's laying there in ICU. And not a, not a lot of good luck was coming his way at that I point. I started to say the bats and dad and the good luck thing weren't working out well, were they? Yeah, I was like, uh, not happening here, dad. You're going to have a hard time convincing him. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out for you people. You know why they say start in the middle? Why? Because you end up with this opening that what can you put in there <laughs> that opening huh i told you i was doing it wrong you told me you should have started and it was too late we'd already I done know. started because <laughs> i never do yes, anything. Sugar the sugar ball uh there's sugar in the middle bottom cabinet, the middle bottom cabinet. uh toward the driveway there's a jar of sugar there, and there's sugar on the countertop there. I'm washing the sugar bowl. It had an ant in it. Good night, Big Mama. 
they're going to the butterfly and flowers are begging for lace. Doily scraps would be awesome. Mel, do you have paper doilies? Yes, I do. Ooh, paper doilies. I'm glad you said that. Yes, I do. And where might they be? Um, Upstairs. Put tea bags on top. I can't find my tea bags. <laughs> I've got tea bags. Begging for lace, doily scraps would be awesome. Okay, we can go find some doilies. I got paper doilies. Perfect. Oh my God. Now where? He's got the microwave going. I'm unclear why he needs the sugar bowl. Mine are right here. Let me pass you one. I found them. I got smaller ones too. I don't have to. Now I gotta make you remember for all of this. That's okay, mm -hmm. I like making it simmer. All righty. Where do I want lace? Found my rubber band for the stamp box. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do. So Becky, when are you gonna have your next sale? Hey, Katie. Katie did. We're just um, getting around. Is Becky still there? I was hoping. I don't know when she's planning on having her next sale. She probably doesn't know yet. Well, I know she said she got hot doing the boxes. So, yeah. Katie, what are you doing this weekend? Probably something more fun than me. Helping hubby but listening. Gotcha, Taylor. I do that a lot too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, Mimi. Since they keep giving you a hard time, I just had to say it. <laughs> he wants it to dry. Well, so she doesn't put it in the trash can first. That's my fear. She'll put it in the trash before she lets it dry. No, I'll cut it up first. Okay, we got to try it. I mean, then you can throw it in my box. Pretend it's the trash can. Now, like I said, you might get it. <laughs> <laughs> You might get it, it might work out for me. Yay. It is not okay, babe. I'm on live. Not my cup of tea, really. Okay, there's the new one. We got I don't know. This is gonna yeah. have so much glue stuff on it, it's gonna be. <laughs> gonna be a mess that won't go with that oh now we get to make more paper clips i don't I think any of those paper clips i need to make a paper clip because none of the ones i made will go with this i don't think they would anyway let me see i really didn't I probably know. should have started with the lace sooner though <laughs> well you still got time you know how that goes? Uh-huh. I do. Like I said, I, I was late to the party. <laughs> the 
late, late, late to the party. Now I'm going to have to, boy, this is going to be a thick collage. No, none of those are going to look right. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, this should have been done earlier, Melanie. Hey, Katie did. All right, none of these are going to work here. Oh, no. no. Too glitzy. Nope. All right, well, maybe. Nope. Now, what have you done? Oh my gosh. We're good, aren't we? So far. <laughs> oh, looking in the camera. No. No, none of those. Work. I think it's going to have to be. And now that's standing out like a sore thumb. Okay. <laughs> Next. Hmm. We might make paper clips after one. But not right now. Wonder what plain tissue would look like. Oh, probably pretty. To to kind of tampen it down a little bit for you. If you're yeah. screamed out in the face a little bit too much. I know where my tea bags are. I just can't get there right now. I got tea bags too, but I'm going to have to go get a tea bag. I need some, I just need a paper clip for that. Well, this if this dries here, I will cut it. I could get my heat out, my heat gun. Let me see what this does. All right, where did I put my doilies? No, I don't want to do them. it. Oh, here's some. Okay. okay. Doilies, I wish I'd thought of that sooner. There it is. I think those are all too big. What this is not how I create. <laughs> this is how Jill creates. She's mimicking me. Well, that toned that down somewhat. I like it. Oh my God. I just wiped it off too. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, time for Melanie to stop. Look at this mess. She had it all over her hands. She's tried to glue her face to it, I think. Yeah. She's had a time with that poor little thing. Like I said, I wasn't prepared. Hey, you had plenty of time. What's your excuse? You procrastinated like I did? No, I told you the guys. Oh, that's right. They came and played. I and then the cappuccino sounded pretty good. That was the other glitch, so to speak. But I did enjoy the cappuccino. Well, that's all that mattered then. It worked. That has been the best present. And it's not one of those big expensive cappuccino or espresso machines, but it's it works for me. It's perfect for you. Oh, I yep. like that one best of all. Yes. Okay, before you do that, dummy, let's do this. Yep, this one's got to be cut. I think you'll like it once you get it cut. I really do. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, we're going to go with that thought anyway. There might be, well, yes, there will be some that will be fine. Yeah, of course. Well, 
I think that Mel's collage page is beautiful and she hates it. So I'm hoping she continues to hate it and I get it. I'm doing envelopes. I was going to collage, but I'm having so much fun watching her. <laughs> that I, just decided, I just decided I would do envelopes today and then cut up the ones I decoupaged and collaged the other day and it's ephemera to go in the envelopes so that when I sell the next time, I'll have something I made to go with some of my V-stash. Well, it does help if you get an idea of, yes, okay, that does. pull this stuff out. Mm -hmm. I'd say that would be helpful. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess that we're doing it. Oops. But um, I kind of did that on the fly. She's not a happy camper. No, I'm not a happy camper with it. And I can't get to my tea bags. I can't remember where I put my little doilies. So I got projects started here that I'll have to finish later because I'm a dingbat. I've labeled everything. I just don't want to stop and go look for it. It wouldn't take but a minute, but you know, sometimes those minutes are just too precious. Well, heck, you've even got your cutter out. I've got all my stuff. I'm at my desk where all my crap is, so. Well, I'm going to have to rearrange this because where I've got my computer, it's like a, my regular desk. All my other stuff. All the little stuff you like to have close. Well, I, I've just got to organize. That's just all there is to it. So far, Katie, we're having a blast. Mel and I decided yesterday we needed to get back on Fridays again. So we decided to do a craft and shop. Paula's got her husband rearranging her furniture, so in her craft room. And I said, don't lose him. Keep that date. <laughs> For sure. Plus, I don't think she's feeling a thousand percent better yet. No, she's not. Thank you for helping me out because I, I could not convince her to abandon ship. It was not abandonment, but that's what she considered it. A little burger. And I appreciate it. And you, you can't convince Paula otherwise? No, I gave up and told her, okay, when you get tired, we're stopping. Well, she, didn't, she really wouldn't tell me, which I knew was going to be a problem. And I couldn't tell. Normally, I can read her better. Not yesterday, I couldn't. She was not letting on the little booger. So, so Katie, when are you changing the sale to evenings? Are you going to change your sales? to your evening someone said something maybe you were going to change for the summer if so when well we've been inviting people on anybody who wants to you're welcome yep we can be fun but we can also be boring we know this <laughs> but we're just just regular old girls i'm afraid so Take me or leave me. A little batty at times, but. A little. <laughs> That's the understatement of the century. <laughs> uh, I'm a sarcastic one. I know you are. I'm Maud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. That was a good show. I wouldn't always want to watch it, but when I watched it, I was always glad that I ended up. Oh, it made, I it made my, me. Aunt, my sister and I were just talking about that. My aunt never married 
um, the one guy she would have married called while we were visiting. I answered. They weren't home. Oh, no. I didn't get his number. I didn't know. Your name is Mud. Well, it was one of my dad's best friends. But um, they got home. I told him, remembered his name, told him he called. <laughs> but anyway, my poor aunt had never seen Golden Girls. Oh, my. Well, <laughs> that's why she kept saying, <laughs> oh, my. Oh my. Oh my, she said that too, huh? Yes. She was so embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I mean, my aunt was very prim and proper. Oh my. She had never quite seen anything like that. Oh, they were uh, definitely unique. Told you ahead of their time. Right, so. But bless her heart. She she's sitting there and here all of us were and we're all laughing and she didn't know quite how to take that. She was so embarrassed. <laughs> she just really, yeah. Didn't know quite what to think. Uh, uh, well, Church of Christ all of her life, you know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they grew up going to tent revivals and. Oh my, those were well, harsh. I mean, that's. They were all. Um, their family would played were musicians and. Well, that book I told you you had. Yes. I mean, come on. One of the relatives traveled with Moody. I mean. I was so surprised. And I don't know why I hadn't shown it. It wasn't a fantastically great old book. It was just a really nice old book cover. But I never dreamed that it had any history with your family. I'll bet you any money in there. Um, Iris Sankey was mentioned. Probably. He was I the. I couldn't uh, tell you, but probably. He wrote songs and he was the musician, you know, the singer. And yes, Katie, I love the Golden Girls. I still watch reruns. I do too. Dave won't watch them. <laughs> I said, they're really funny. He said, I don't think they are, but if you want to watch it, go ahead, but I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. All righty, dighty. <laughs> So, Katie did. Did you ever answer me Wednesday evening during the summer? When did you start that? No, I don't think she did. Did she? I go to Wednesday evening during the summer. Are you starting it in a week or so? or Oh, the week in... after next. Yeah, she the did. The week after it. next. Okay. Cool Wednesday beans. Wednesday evening, week after next, folks. We got you. Oh, good, Katie. I might remember to. I have trouble getting on during the day sometime a lot. And I just take you to the porch with me. Poor Amelia. She knows Mel's voice, Paula's voice. She's getting to know your voice, Katie. <laughs> I'll say, do you want to call Mel or Paula? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. She never can make up her mind. She gets on there and then she won't talk. Little stinker. 
She talked to me. She does. She does pretty good with you. She'll talk to Paula a little bit, but I, she's talked to you more. I've caught you more. Well, I get the high. Yeah, that's that's hi. good. Hi. And then she hides her head in my shirt front. I'm like, mm hmm. She's sweet. She's rotten to the core. She's going to be an artist. She told me. She's into painting. Not just the furniture, other stuff too. <laughs> We had to have a discussion about the painting on what could be painted. Not the picnic table, not the furniture. She loves to swim. I put her in, she didn't have a bathing suit the other day. So grandma country girl that she is, I just stripped her down and got in the pool with her. She had a blast. It was just me and her. So I wasn't too worried about it. But her, I said, I need a bathing suit in case we have people here. She's going to want to swim. And I have nothing bathing suit wise. She's outgrown everything. She said, okay, I'll send one. Well, she went to the car and she said, there was one in the car. Here, Grandma. <laughs> Good deal. Hey, nothing wrong with skinny dipping. She's two. <laughs> I was pretty sure I wasn't going to be in trouble too bad Allie didn't care you know some people are funky about that we live in the country. my favorite my neighbors came over one time and were skinny dipping in my pool without permission to skinny dip i would have been a little excited no, they, i think they had a little too much and ah uh, snuck over and oops well, when I used to push mo, I would, I would push mo, and then I'd strip down, and it didn't take me long. And I was in that pool, but nobody could see me. Unless you knew me, you didn't know what I was doing. That's when they flew over with the satellite. Have you yeah, ever waved yourself up? Waved at them. No. Oh. Have you ever looked up your address? Yes, I have. And looked at the satellite. So far, I've been lucky. <laughs> so you far. Know, to my friend who passed away, their satellite, my car's sitting out front. <laughs> you never know when they're going to go by. Nope. We have several of the pictures. They'll come by and sell them to us, but... I've never had anybody offer that. Yeah, it's nice. Darn it. Well, now I can see all the brads because <laughs> I dumped them all. <laughs> You're so cute, dummy. Wonder if I'll get lucky enough to get that to go through there. I bet you I can. Okay. Taylor on. She's too Katie did. My grandson, my oldest son, popped me another baby. I've got one, two, three, four. Four great grandchildren and another one on the way. And my son decided this new lady that he is with, they had a baby and he is a year old. And oh my God, is he the apple of my eye? So between him and her and the four year old and the six year old and the other one year old, we have a house full of babies again. And I'm thrilled. Thrilled to death. I love them. Mama doesn't get around quite as fast as she used to, but I still get around. They're what makes it worth it. You're lucky. Well, my grandson acquired eight rabbits. Wednesday. Eight. I don't think I've got a pick of her up here. I got a picture of my grandson. 
when I redid my room, I've not put all my pictures back up yet. And they're downstairs. I'm framing some. This is my grandson. This is when he wasn't very old. Probably, I don't know, four, six months. He's a stinker. Definitely happy. He is a happy baby. He, nothing upsets him. He's very easygoing, you know, just real laid back like his dad. And when he smiles, his whole, his whole face smiles. Well, the first three months he was there, I didn't think he was going to like me. He didn't act like he was going to have anything to do with me. And I was heartbroken because I'm always the best one because I'll let him do. I'm not going to let them hurt themselves, but we do a lot of fun stuff because I'm mama, grandma. But he just, he, one day he just decided I was great and I love it. <laughs> I told him that one day I said, mama didn't think you were ever going to like her. I really thought I was doomed. But he took to me finally. Now, what are we going to do here? We don't really need to do much, do we? Because that's really pretty. It's pretty, yes. We don't need to do much to Edith Holden. Hey, sweetie, we're on live. What's up? Okay, let me mute for a minute, girls. If I can find the mute button. Mm hmm Yes, Jill, go to settings. Hang on, baby doll. I am really, really not liking this thing. Mm -hmm. I like to like my collage. See, like this one. I mean, it, it wasn't so jibber jibbery. Why are you muted? Oh, she must be talking to Dave. Well, <laughs> thank you, Katie. The color scheme, uh, it's a hodgepodge, <laughs> definitely a hodgepodge. Oh, I didn't add that bird. I needed another bird, I think, maybe. I lost my bird. Oh, I lost my bird. These are all just the birds. I didn't cut out the... I guess I could wait and put one on. I spent, well, I cooked it all day yesterday, made a brisket, and we've had barbecue sandwiches already today, and sauce, I made barbecue sauce.
I could eat those barbecue sandwiches every day. Every day. Love this brisket recipe. Oh, well, that was nice, Katie. I miss my mom. I do, I do, I do. I don't know if I want that bird. I really regret putting this on here. Hey, Jill, you're on mute. Yeah, I was talking to Dave for a minute. Sorry, girls. Oh, oh okay. okay. Um, I, well, I thought yeah. that at first, but. Do like I told Katie, sing and dance, entertain them, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I don't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> Tell her, Katie, it'll be all right. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't sing, I don't dance. I'm not someone who is been blessed with the gift of gab. I'm quiet usually. Usually. I usually let Paula and Jill yak. I heard that. Hey, you know it's true. Oh. You know you got too much on there when you start sticking to it. Oh, that dang wallpaper isn't going to let anything stick to it. Good wallpaper. <laughs> Stick. Okay. I'm done messing with it. Let it dry. See, now she's sitting there talking to him, but she's crafting. He thinks he has her full attention. <laughs> I know you can hear me. But I think it's funny. My husband always waits to talk to me when I'm counting. Anybody else have that problem? I'll be counting out stuff and that's when he always comes up with questions. And then I get, did you hear me? Mm, yes, I did. Now I lost count. 
Oh, sorry. Okay, this is going to dry. I should have done my um, little hidden paper clips I saw that were really cute. That's what I had thought about doing, but let's put it this way. Air conditioning came first. I don't do song and dance, Jill. <laughs> Have a good night, Katie. Have fun. Get, see? I, good. Other women understand that. Excuse me. I'm coming down. Let me say goodbye. I need to go, Mel. Okay. Yeah. I was only kidding. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. It wasn't that at all. Um, he's just not feeling real alert. And okay. I got you. So, no problem. I know. Um, Ladies, thank you for coming tonight. Had fun. Um, I I'll appreciate it, you, girls. I'll show you what it looks like when I cut it up. Yes. And we'll see if it goes in Jill's box. <laughs> we can only hope. Thanks for coming, girls. I may do a pop-up tomorrow to get rid of some book covers and napkins. It just depends on what he's doing. We're having a little bit of a problem with the Inspire not quite working as well as we were hoping. So we're going to have to adjust on that. He had another little spell thing today. So that's why I'm getting off. Not because... I'm done yakking at you, or I don't care. I just, I need to go That's work cool. with him. It's cool. So, Taylor, I'm going to. Yeah, next time we go, go on, if anybody would like to join us. And Taylor, yes, outside of the AC, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Other than sweating just a little bit now, man. Yeah, well, they're putting the air conditioner in now, so. Oh, well, you'll have some relief tonight then for sure. Hopefully, if it. Yes. Hopefully. Well, and it'll start cooling down, so that'll help. Well, I keep telling them I don't mind sleeping on the couch. Yeah. So. Well, it's not too much longer. It's just inconvenient to cook. I hate cooking if I'm sweating. Oh, that I don't like because it's hot. Well, after I cook and I get hot, then I don't want to eat, which wouldn't hurt me. <laughs> I just don't, I don't like know where it. all this stuff comes from. I know. Okay, Jill, go take care of Dave. Thank you, girls. I'm going to end the broadcast, and I'll see you maybe tomorrow, if not for sure, this week. Thanks, girls. Bye-bye. Have a safe weekend. Thanks, Mel.